Well, it's been a long time coming. Both fighters had the will. Their teams found a way. 12 rounds for the EBU European welterweight title. Avanesian versus Kelly. It's here. It's arrived. Is it a coming of age night for Josh Kelly? Is it a turning back? The youngster. Time for David Avanesian. The defending champion from Russia, although he's based in the UK and has been for the last few years, is the man in the black trunks, Kelly, in the red and white of his native town, Sunderland. All the uh, experts say the one thing that Josh Kelly cannot do is just coast through this one, that he needs to maintain a work rate. Can't switch off, can't stand back and admire his work. It's an interesting one, this fight. You look at it, you can make a compelling case for David Avanesian, then you can flip it on its head, make a compelling case for Josh Kelly, and both arguments would carry a lot of weight. <laughs> This is sharp. This is really sharp from Kelly. Picked some beautiful punches to the body, then switched upstairs quickly. Well, he's uh, asking some questions of the champion here right in this first round. And that's the kind of movement that he's going to need to keep Avanesian at bay. Slow start this from the Russian. Oh, again, it's the speed, lovely left hook combination downstairs and upstairs. And Avanesian seeing these jabs, but they're keeping him occupied. Oh, a big left hook, caught Avanesian, he was wide open there and stunned, and Kelly is looking for the early night here. Well, even if Avanesian has managed to recover from that, there's a warning sign for the champion. He can be stunned and he can be hurt, and Josh Kelly knows it. This jab of Kelly's is, is some weapon. That was nice. Kelly did, Kelly did take a left hand there. Avanesian with a rare moment of success early in this third round. And Kelly again creating that separation. But he is taking some risks, trying to get in here, Avanesian. Virgil Ortiz wants Kelly. I mean, everyone's talking about what they want, and uh, as you say, David Avanesian's got his own plans. It was Carl Greaves we could hear talking in the corner, a very experienced and knowledgeable British trainer. You heard him just say that you'll wear him down in the later rounds, and that obviously is going to be the game plan. Try and draw him into a bit of a battle and see if you can make a breakthrough in the latter rounds. Don't be discouraged early. As you say, all that head movement, the reflexes early on from Kelly have been so impressive. I wonder if uh, Avanesian can build on that slight encouragement that he got in the, uh, the previous round, but Kelly looking sharp again here and just letting it flow. Adam Booth leading the applause in the Kelly corner. Boy, he brings that jab up from so low, but it's so accurate and so sharp. This is Josh Kelly starting to get into his rhythm now, and that's what he is, a rhythm fighter. If you let him get into that, or you start to let him lead the dance and chase, that's when you can be in real trouble. And Avanesia needs to be really careful here. Just let Kelly just get into his rhythm, have the space. You can see that confidence growing. You can see that the little step in his, the, the spring in his step, rather. And this is where he wants to be. This is him dictating the fight on his terms. Let's call him again there. Oh, Avanesia trying to force the issue. Kelly just saying, yeah, there you go. You can get the body, but you can't hurt me. And there he is, gone again. Lovely footwork. Yeah, I think just reiterating, wasn't he, in the corner, what was actually important there. It doesn't matter if it's a bad cut or not, because we can't change that now. What is important is that you win the rounds ahead, so that if it does go to the scorecards, you are ahead. I, I think he is clear ahead at, at this particular stage, but uh, look, just don't know how that cut is going to progress, and, and we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Avanesian now goes to the body. A bit more success with the body. Landing clean upstairs is uh, proving pretty tough for Avanesian here. Oh, that was smart of Adam Booth, though. I mean, in the heat of battle, sometimes, guys, they, they lose their focus, and Adam Booth just said, here is the situation, so don't worry about that cut. Just go out and keep winning. Keep winning rounds. 
Well, Avanesian really is building up ahead of steam here, and this fight is starting to unfold as we thought it might. I think a lot of people looked at this and said Kelly wins the early rounds, but if Avanesian is still there, he can come on strong late. Kelly's just leaning on him and he doesn't really need to be there. He needs to get back to doing what he was doing before and hitting and moving and, you know, taking his, taking his confidence away by making him miss and making him pay. And now he's trying to stand there and lean on him and trade with him, which is not a big strength of his. Well, if he can out-muscle David Avanisi up close, that'll be a... A big, big step for him, but that's easier said than done. But he really is trying to be the tough guy in there at the moment. And as you say, Tasha, I don't think David Avanisi would have expected that. And I'm not sure how much success he had doing it either. <laughs> Round six of this battle for the European welterweight title. Uh, claimed by David Avanisi in Spain, in Bilbao, against Kerman Lejaraga. They wanted the rematch, they got it. And uh, Lejaraga was blown out inside a round. He then went back to Spain, stopped Jose Del Rio in Barcelona. And neither of these two fellas have had a fight since December 2019. A, a gap of over 400 days for both of them. Yeah, we'll for, for, uh, for, for Avenisi, rather, it's almost two years since he was stopped by Kavliowski. So in that time, he's, he's boxed less than 11 full rounds in two years. Now, of course, He's, he's been victorious in those. The Haraga took in nine rounds the first time, won the second, and of course Rio was, was won as well. So he's been victorious in that and through no fault of his own. But you know, he hasn't really shown any signs of that inactivity. He was a little slow to start, but he's now fully in the groove here. And uh, that was my only real concern from going into this was just the lack of, uh, of ring rounds that he's done in the last couple of years. But uh, well, he's, a, he's a seasoned professional and uh, no signs of rust from him at this stage, certainly. No, absolutely not. No, it really has warmed up now. Blood continuing to pour from all over the place. From Josh Kelly, most of it from that cut around the back of the head. But Avanesian really is starting to build up ahead of steam in this fight. Big jolting left hand from the Russian. And he's catching Kelly cleaner and more regularly now. These were the shots that uh, Kelly was making him miss with earlier. A lovely combination. He's followed it up and Kelly's in trouble. Pushed down, and there is a count. Well, the pressure's been coming, it's been building. And Kelly still has a minute to go here in this sixth round, and Avanisi will be straight back on him. Landing clean again. Well, Kelly's really got to be careful here. The legs are all over the place. Absolutely gone, and Adam Booth thrown in the towel, and it's all over. Josh Kelly unraveled, and David Avanesian has overcome a slow start to retain his European welterweight championship in some style. That was a ruthless finish. Well, this is how it all unraveled. Absolutely sharp and fast, and uh, that was that combination that uh, sent him to the floor, and he was in serious distress then. And this, this is one of the worst fighters in the world to be in trouble against, because Avanesian will not let you off the hook. Absolutely clinical finish. And he still wasn't right, was he? And Adam Booth watching, saying, you know what? I've got to make a decision here. And the legs had completely gone, and that was it.